My name is Will Manis with Mr. Quick. I'm an electrician here, and today we're going to be doing a panel inspection right here. Now, first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to open up this cover, uh, start noticing a few things. First thing I'm noticing, the panel is fully labeled over here. That is a great thing. Um, it is required. Uh, another thing I'm looking at is the amperage, the panel amperage. It usually is written right here on the handle. Um, I'll take a flashlight to it real quick. Uh, it is a 200 amp panel and it looks like it is a one, two, three. It's got about 36 breakers in it. Um, first thing I'm going to notice is that right down here on the cover, I'm noticing some arcing right here. This is evidence of it. It uh, means that some electrical contacts have come in together or come together with each other. Uh, has created this little mark right here. It does seem to wipe right off, but I will need to do a thorough investigation on that. Um, I also want to go in here and I want to check all of these breakers right here. These are GFI breakers. Um, they're required in certain parts of the home, like the kitchen, uh, garage, and bathrooms and stuff. So I'm just going to go ahead and push this button. As you can see, it went to a trip position and it fully resets. That means this breaker is still good. It's still doing its job. Now I'm going to go down here and do the exact same thing. It tripped and flipped right over, it's doing its job. Next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and check the inside, the guts of the panel. I'm gonna take these screws off right here and then open it up and we'll do an investigation on the inside. Alrighty, now that we've got the panel cover off, uh, what I like to do is I like to look at it from top to bottom, uh, down starting with where power comes in. Um, and things that we're looking for, we're looking for any kind of signs of burning or corrosion, burning, meeting, any kind of discoloration. So if it looks like it's starting to turn a darker shade of uh, brown, or if it's starting to turn like a golden color, even though it's supposed to be silver, uh, that is what I'm looking for. So again, I'm going to take out my flashlight here. Um, on the main lugs right here, I can tell uh, that these are copper wires. Um, they are sized correctly for this type of panel. Uh, it's a 200 amp panel again. So it's supposed to be um, two watt wires. And as we come down here, um, I'm checking out the bus bars down here, the connection on where the main breaker and the bus bars connect. Um, these don't seem to have any kind of discoloration on these, so that's good. Um, next thing I wanna do is I wanna pull off one breaker off of here and check behind it um, to see if I can, to see what the bus bars look down here. So there isn't anything too, too noticeable right here. There is some slight discoloration. So that tells me that from up here where it's all nice and silver, but over here it's nice or it's turning like a golden color. Over here it's got uh, some uh, grease that the breakers use um, in order to make a better connection. But right over here towards the left side of the bus bar, you can see it's turning a golden color. Um, what that tells me that uh, as all these breakers are drawing amperage, um, it is starting to burn up the bus bars. Uh, so the next thing I just need to do is I need to slide this back in here. Um, go ahead and set this down. Next thing I want to go ahead and look at is I want to go ahead and look at uh, the ground and neutral bars. That would be this bar over here. Um, this bar over here, and then there's some bars tucked behind these wires here. I'm looking for anything such as double tapped uh, neutral wires um, over here and just make sure everything's properly uh, landed on here. Um, as you can see, it's one wire per screw and that's done excellently over here and over here as well. Um, another thing I'm checking for uh, over here on the grounds is make sure they're all nice tight you want to pull on all these, make sure everything is grounded properly. Yeah, none of these wires are moving. You want to be really careful when putting your hand in here. Over here, um, over on this side over here, there's no electricity moving over here, so it's safe for me to put my hand over here. But if I put my hand anywhere close to the middle parts over here where the breakers are, that's where the dangerous zones are. Um, uh, next thing is I'm also going to pull on some of these wires on the breakers, make sure none of these are loose. Um, wires can sometimes get loose over time. 
um, because of, as electricity runs through them, electricity vibrates, it starts to loosen up the screws. So we just want to make sure that nothing is um, loose over here. Um, problems that can happen over time from that is uh, just complete power loss to parts of the home just from the wire coming loose from the breaker. Um, it could also lead to arcing. Um, arcing occurs whenever electricity travels through the air in order to make its connection. Um, this is a safety hazard um, and a hazard inside of a panel just in general because it can cause stuff to burn up. Um, it can cause parts that aren't supposed to get electricity, uh, get electricity to it. Um, it can cause a, a whole bunch of other problems as, such as uh, major cases involve panel failures. Minor causes are just small signs of burning up as you could tell from the uh, cover of the panel that I showed earlier. Um, next thing that I'm noticing or I'm looking for on these breakers as I'm tugging on them to see if there's any double tapped breakers. Um, as, as it was on the neutral bar, it's one wire per screw. And so as you can see up here, you know, you have this top wire right here. That's only got one wire going into it. The next screw down only has one wire. But as you go down here, I'm noticing that there's this 15 amp tandem breaker. It's got two wires underneath this one screw. So I'm going to be recommending um, to putting in another tandem probably right here. Just to go ahead and separate this right here. Um, and as far as corrosion goes, I'm not seeing any corrosion inside of the panel. Um, and everything looks fairly clean. Another thing that I'm looking for is up here with these wires coming in. I'm looking to make sure that they have what we call connectors right here. Um, looks like every wire in here does have a connector to it. Um, the only ones that are not required to are these small ground wires tucked back in here. Um, those are allowed to just go through there because again, they don't, con they don't conduct any electricity. They're not supposed to. Um, but everything else looks uh, pretty good in here.